All right. Good morning, world. I, well, good morning. I don't know what time you are watching this <laughs> or what day you are watching this. Uh, it is a Saturday morning here in Washington State. And I just wanted to take a moment this morning and talk about something that's been really inspiring me with yoga lately. Um, I've probably read this book. This is probably going on my fourth time of reading this book, but it is, there we go, let's see if we can get it in there, The Yamas and Niyamas by Deborah Dell. Um, and for those who don't know, um, Yamas and Niyamas are one of the limbs of yoga. There are eight limbs of yoga. One of the limbs is the asana practice or, you know, the, um, the physical, the exercise part practice which is important, necessary, I love that part. Um, another one of the limbs is the yamas and the niyamas. And I myself personally kinda like to think of yamas and niyamas as just um, a nice guideline on how to live our lives. Reminders, gentle reminders, right? Of how to live our lives, how to be better people. Here's Suki, see if she can get in, okay. Um, you know, so just how, how do we go forward through the world in, and be better versions of ourselves. How are we better community members? How do we move forward in the you know the world? Um, and so, one of the first yamas. I thought we'd just take a moment to talk about the first yama, which is ahimsa, or non-violence. And okay, so just so you know, also for those who have not heard about this book, the Yamas and Yamas by Deborah Adele, there is a certain group of yogis who absolutely, like, you bring up this book, we go crazy over this book. Like, we love it. Um, this is honestly, I'm just going to put it in again. <laughs> this book is one of my top 10 all-time favorite books. Like, the first time I read this book, I was so inspired by this book. This book, you know, whether or not, you, you know, wherever you are in life, whatever you want to do, whatever you are thinking in life, this book here, The Yamas and Niyamas by Deborah Adele, there's Suki again, can truly help you and inspire you. She wrote this book so I could open any page and find amazingly beautiful inspirational quotes and reminders. How am I a better girlfriend? How am I a better lover? How am I a better mom? How am I a better sister, daughter, friend, aunt? you know, better community member, better yoga teacher, better dancer, better dance instructor, better therapist, right? So just how do we help ourselves be better in our world? And this book by Deborah Adele, it's insanely inspirational, amazingly beautiful. Again, I'm on my, I think, fourth time reading it through, absolutely loving it. I have given away, I've given away probably four of these books um the first my first two own personal copies and you can see i literally go through i'm one of these people right i just mark the pages up um i had notes marked in my first couple of books you know all types of underlining and i was so inspired i gave them away to people i was like here this is truly a gift and um you know i would write personal notes in there and still give these books away to people so this really is one of those very, very, very special books. So Ahimsa <laughs> is the first yama. And again, so on the eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight <laughs> um, limbs of yoga, yamas and niyamas are one of those limbs. Uh, sana or the physical practice of yoga is another limb. So the first is Ahimsa, the first yama is Ahimsa or nonviolence. And I'm going to read a couple quotes today from uh, De Deborah Adele's book. So she's talking in talking about ahimsa or nonviolence. She brings us into worry. And the quote says, worry is another way violence gets masked as caring. Worry is a lack of faith in the other and could not exist simultaneously with love. Either we have faith in the other person to do their best or we don't. Worry says, I don't trust you to do your life right. Worry comes from a place of arrogance that I know better what should be happening in your life. Worry says, I don't trust your journey or your answers or your timing. Worry is 